Okay, good morning. This is KP the Math G here. And uh, I wanted to go back over a problem that, well, my camera, once it uh, gets full, um, the card gets full, it shut me off. Uh, I think I was about three quarters of the way through this problem and I got shut off. So, maybe this time now. Uh, we'll go all the way through it. Uh, so let's go ahead and start. Water runs into a conical tank at a rate of three cubic feet per minute. The tank points down and has a height of 12 feet and a base radius of four feet. How fast is the water level rising when the water is six feet deep? Okay. Let's draw a picture of this thing, okay? It is a cone, right? So let's do that. Draw a picture of a cone. I'm just going to put it way over here because I'm going to need some room to work. And I'm not very good at this, so bear with me. Alright, we know that the cone's height is feet. Alright, here's the radius here. The radius is four feet. Yeah, right there. So four feet. Equals the radius, height. This point here. The height is equal to 12. Alright, so on a cone we're dealing with radius and height. Alright, there it is. And so if we just understand most of the, in these problems, I say most of the time, most all the time really uh, if you have a radius you have a change of rate of a radius and if you have a height it's possible to have a change of rate of the height with respect to time okay the rate of change is what it is so dr over dt dh over dt uh, and so uh, you know so what we got to do is kind of see what we're looking for what do we have already and what do we need to have what are we looking for okay let's read it again water runs into a conical tank at a rate of three cubic feet right there tells me that that is volume it is actually not the volume, but it is the rate that the volume, that the rate that the water is going into the tank, all right, that's volume, all right, dV over dt. So dV over dt, all right, is equal to 3 cubic feet per minute. All right, there that is. The tank points down, that's what I've got, it's doing it pointing down, has a height of 12 and a base radius of 4 feet, that's good now, here's another thing, how fast, that is a rate, how fast is the water level, is the water level rising, we're talking about water level, we're talking about height, so the water starting down here, the very bottom and it's rising, and we're taking a picture of it at six feet deep, okay? Um, that's supposed to be ripples of water right there. Uh, okay, all right, there we go. That's probably a little better. All right, so let's look at the formula for a uh, cone, okay? The volume of a cone is given to be V is equal to one-third, one-third pi R squared.
squared h. Volume is always going to have uh, <clears throat> a degree of 3. 2 plus 1 more. Okay? Alright, that's 3. Alright, so just remember that. Now, the thing is, we're looking for dh over dt. We've determined that because it says how fast is the water level rising? Rising. The height is changing over time, isn't it? See that? So we're looking for dh over dt. Now, here's what we have. When we have a cone, we notice that there is a, a radius, right? A ratio of a radius to the height. In this particular case, the radius the base radius is 4 feet and the height is 12 feet and that's the ratio that we need and I'm going to show you why we need to set this up as a ratio since we're looking for dh over dt I would like so much for this r to be in terms of h okay Okay, I want this R to be changed. I'd like to get rid of that somehow. So let's look at this. Let's first of all, four over twelve is one third. So let's change that. Let's make this as simple as possible. One third. All right. So now, if I multiply three times R, three R, I get one times H, which is just H. All right. Now, here's the thing. If I want everything in terms of H, I want to solve for the thing that I want to get rid of. I want to solve for the radius. Okay? So I'm going to do just that. 3 times R. I can simply divide by 3. And now I've got R is equal to H over 3. Now watch the beauty of this. Because it is really nice to be able to do this. Alright, I'm going to plug that in place of R, but remember the R, R is squared, so here we go. Uh, v is equal to one third I times R squared times H. Well, we know what R is, it's H over 3. Alright, so H over 3. Alright, now I want to square both the H and the 3, okay? Alright, so here we go. I'm going to I'm going to square that, so one-third. I still haven't done a derivative just yet. I'm just rewriting this volume uh, formula here. All right, this is 8 squared over 9 times 8, isn't it? By the way, this is h1 over 1, isn't it? So now finally, I'm going to write it, rewrite it one more time, and I'm going to put it... Well, I might just have, I might have, let's put it up here though. So V is equal to, alright, let's, let's put all this together. Uh, 1, uh, 3 times 9 is 27. So 1 over 27, alright, pi, alright, H2 times H1 is H3. Now I don't have an R in the equation at all. Now, what I, so, so just remember, you could put H over R, that'd be 12 over 4, you'll still get the same result, okay? Uh, but you can put R over H, it does not matter. And if you had, sometimes they're asking for this, the R over DT, you'd have to solve for H. Okay, if you're looking for DH over DT, you solve for R. Okay, that's what you do. Alright, well, I'm going to erase this part because I'm going to need the space to solve the problem, okay? Alright, here we go. Now, so, the beauty of this is, instead of having both an R and an H, I just have H, don't I? That's the beauty of this. I love that. And it makes life a whole lot easier when we're trying to find this answer. Well, now we've got to take the derivative here. Cannot plug anything in just yet. 
All right, so here we go. Uh, the derivative of, of V is dV over dt. All right, let's go ahead. All right, the power rule, 3 over 20, or 3. Now, 3 times 1 over 27 pi times a number, remember, h, and then reduce the exponent by 1. Do not forget, sometimes I have been known to do that when I first started doing this, dh over dt. Well, that's what we're looking for, isn't it? Well, I see right here. Uh, let's go ahead now. Now that we have the derivative, we can start plugging numbers in. Let's see, this is, this is, uh, runs in two, a conical thing, so we know that this is rising. Alright, so this number is positive. So here is three. Alright, that rate of change is three. This is three over 27, uh, which is in lowest terms, so you can do three over one. This is three over 27, which is one ninth. One ninth pi. All right, we do know that the height is oh, when the height is six. So at this moment now, see so this is that uh, at this moment when you take the derivative, you're looking for this. You don't plug the 12 in, okay? You plug the six in. We use the 12 and the four to get this right here from the start, okay? All right, so now this is 6 squared, all right, dh over dt. Nice. 6 squared is 36. So 1 ninth pi uh, times 36 dh over dt. I could have just made that a 4. Uh, this is 36 over 9, which is 4. I'm going to erase this now so I can finish the problem. Very nice. Sounds like sneakers on a basketball court, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. All right. Let's go ahead and finish this problem now. All right. This is 36 divided by 9 is 4. So we already got 3 is equal to 4 pi dh over dt, isn't it? So I'm going to solve for dh over dt. That's what I'm looking for. I'm going to divide both sides by both 4 and pi together like that. That divides out. And dh over dt is equal to 3 over 4 pi. Now, what are the units? Well, since we're dealing with a rate over time, that's going to be feet per minute. All right, so feet per minute. Feet per minute. All right, so... Let's write it where it would be a little more feet per minute. Alright, that is, and if you had to explain, uh, the water level is rising, you know, at a rate of 3 over 4 pi feet per minute the moment the water is six feet deep if you want to say it that way so there it is and this is positive because the water is rising if the water if if the water level is going down first of all this volume this this rate of this volume would be going down we just put a negative sign in front of that but since the water level is rising then we leave this positive and all of this remains positive in the first place okay all right so there it is and uh i believe i it's, it's frustrating when you look at your video and you're on three-fourths of the way through this 
and then all of a sudden, bloop, you're gone. So, uh, nobody gets rid of KP the Mass G that easily. Okay, so anyway, this is important too because the cone is a little different in that you do have to set up a proportion and uh, that's the way that you do it and just as I had to learn so does everyone else have to learn this in this 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 fashion there may be another way to do this but at least I find it easier to me when I can write this and get this in terms of just H okay uh, if it asks how fast is the radius okay uh, changing okay then I would have to solve for H and turn everything into R. And it would be R cubed, okay? All right, well, anyway, signing off is KP the Math G. I want you to, I hope that you have a very, very good day. And I appreciate you uh, being patient with me during this, especially for those of you have, who have seen the previous uh, related rate uh, lesson and I got cut off so uh, but if this is the first time you've seen it there you go uh, so anyway I appreciate everyone and um, so uh, I don't have a comment section I would like to try to get that and I do think I do have a subscribe button and if I do then please subscribe I appreciate that very much again KP the math G signing off have a great day